From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. The Exposed Turnbuckle A professional wrestling ring is typically constructed the same way every time. Similar to a boxing ring, the poetically dubbed squared circle is 16 to 20 feet squared with four ropes connected to four corner posts. Each of the 12 rope corners are connected to said corner post with an eye hook, also called a turnbuckle. Each of these 12 turnbuckles are wrapped with a turnbuckle pad, a soft covering to protect the wrestlers from colliding with exposed steel. Sometimes the padding is removed by an opportunist looking to illegally gain the upper hand in a match. And this is the phenomenon of the exposed turnbuckle. It's addition via subtraction in a very bizarre way. A top turnbuckle pad is accidentally removed or straight up ripped off by the bad guy. When one cannot find a chair or sneak in a foreign object, the exposed turnbuckle is easily accessible by merely untying it from the post. Then there's an oh so suspenseful cat and mouse game where there's that inevitable moment of someone's head connecting with the raw steel of the exposed turnbuckle. Sometimes a scoundrel who ripped the pad off will succeed in getting the good guy's head to collide and then the three count victory to follow. There are also those moments where the villain's evil plans backfire. Being outwitted or a move reversed, it's their cranium that crashes into the exposed ring construct. Whichever competitor takes the steel hit to the dome typically loses. Lights out. This has been going on for decades. It's as historic as a rake to the eyes or a low blow and has been another fun way for wrestlers to tell their in-ring story. Andre the Giant would start his match with Jake the Snake Roberts by launching his head into the exposed buckle at WrestleMania 5. But its roots go back deep into the territory days of old. It always seems to pop up at WrestleMania events, like WrestleMania 11, when Psycho Sid removed it on Shawn Michaels' behalf, only for the Heartbreak Kid to still end up losing to the champion, Diesel. This would happen many more times, including WrestleMania 32, when Callisto retained the United States Championship over Ryback after the pad was ripped off and it went to his advantage. It just always seems to pop up when watching old matches and still to this day on new programming. The storytelling contraption of an exposed turnbuckle doesn't occur in every match or even every show, but when it does, it achieves the goal of working up the crowd into a justice-seeking frenzy.